My name is Inango Lumumba Kasango. Um, I am a postdoctoral fellow at Brown in the music department. I am also a rapper and producer who goes by the name Samus. And in that kind of part of my persona, I'm really interested in kind of black feminist thought and Afrofuturist themes of like geek universes and, and kind of exploring that through my music. Let's start with your appearance a red herring for your merits. I'm embarrassed by the lyrics that you parrot, so generic I can't bear it. So I first got into music through video games, uh, oddly enough. So when I was a kid, my older brother played a whole bunch of video games and I played them too. And the thing that I loved the most about the experience I found were the soundtracks. So I thought, oh, you know, someday I might want to have a video game on my own or a cartoon of my own, but I didn't know how to program or animate. And so I figured the, the kind of fastest way to get in that world was through music because my older brother was a musician. He kind of sat me down and taught me a little bit of like basic um, theory around music and how to put chords together, that kind of thing. And from there, I really started making my own kind of songs. I started using a digital music um, program, a digital audio workstation called Reason, started making out my own beats. And eventually I started rapping because I wanted to just talk about my life experiences. Started performing at open mic nights, that kind of thing, released an EP, then released an album. So over time, I was able to kind of build an, an audience around the music that I was making. Yeah. So one kind of theme or one topic that I return to a lot in my music is the kind of speculative space that's opened up through video games. So there's a whole kind of aesthetic and political movement called Afrofuturism. It's this way of portraying or thinking about Black experiences and epistemologies um, and prioritizing them in a way that allows us to exist in future spaces or otherworldly spaces. So my name, Samus, comes from a video game character um, from a video game called Metroid that I played as a kid and the main character um, is this uh, intergalactic bounty hunter and when you beat the game her armor suit comes off and you learn that this character is a woman and at the time there weren't many playable women characters so that felt like a really profound moment for me so I keep returning to uh, the kind of video game universes to to articulate my ideas like that's my frame of reference threading that together with black feminist thought um because obviously i have a, a kind of political identity as well and so i want to refract my experiences as a black woman in the universe through this kind of game world that first gave me my voice i'm kind of scared of the academy I think that my parents are proud of me. I just wish I knew how to be comfortable here. I never feel like I'm allowed to breathe. Rubbing shoulders with these old nerds. Rocking sweater vest in their office hours. Eating hors d'oeuvres while I soul search. Trying to make some sense of the ivory tower. Feeling sober. Am I just a coward or a poser? I'm part of a hip hop collective called The Keepers. And that is a collective that was initiated by Akua Naru, who was actually a... Um, artist in residence at Brown for during my first semester there. During kind of quarantine, she reached out and said that she had been trying to put together this, this archive that would um, kind of trace and display and celebrate the contributions of women in hip hop over the past 50 years globally and what I like to be a part of the project. And I was like, of course, I want to be a part of this project. This is amazing. There's a whole bunch of artists and um, activists, scholars, tech folks who are just really invested in not just building this archive, but also, I think, creating programs and events that are centered on thinking about uh, hip hop as a global force that at its center is is kind of moves through the voices of women and, and non-binary folks.
And the other project that I'm, I'm working on right now is a video game. So I'm working as the audio director with a small, uh, very new game development company called Glow Up Games. And our first project is the uh, kind of mobile game for this scripted TV show on HBO called Insecure. So that's been super trippy, just putting together all of my interests in one place. It feels sort of surreal. I've really, really enjoyed my experience at Brown in the music department. I really love my colleagues. Our chair, Emily Dolan, is a rock star, and she's really been invested, I think, in making myself and the other new faculty comfortable. And, you know, I had a little bit of anxiety coming into an academic space as a hip hop artist and performer. How will I be received? Um, how am I going to end up teaching this stuff? And I think um, I felt really welcomed and realized and was kind of told that it's less about me having to accommodate the department and more about the department accommodating the needs of this new musical space that's being created and that that so many students are invested in and come to Brown already having a deep love and background in. Now I'm loving me, I could give it up, but where's the fun in that? Gotta live it up or you will never laugh. Life's a box of chocolates with a lot of options. Gotta keep it rocking like a rumble pack. The first letter of your first name makes your name emerge when I search things. And it hurts me, but I guarantee that without you, I'm a...